All right, this is the HTC Vive in a big old box, and this video is gonna be unboxing it, setting it up, playing with it, and giving you my thoughts on this virtual reality headset. I'm extremely excited for this. I've been waiting, I pre-ordered it like the day that you could pre-order it, and then I've just been waiting for it to show up at my house. And it finally did. So, it's gonna be a pretty big video because I also need to go get a graphics card to upgrade my computer to be able to run this in its full glory and at the full FPS uh, to get the best experience possible. But I've been watching a lot of videos on it and I'm very excited. So, nice cut, nice clean cut. Let's get in the box. First thing you got is HTC Vive warranty. Um, yep, not important. And just a big HTC Vive box. And I was actually, you guys, if you've been a long-term subscriber, you know that I was interested in the Oculus Rift for a while and I was waiting for the consumer version of that. But then this came along and I basically forgot all about the Rift because this with the hand controllers and the two cameras and everything, it's just definitely, as of now, a superior virtual reality experience. Oh, this is actually pretty heavy. Let's put it over here, get rid of the box. Thank you. All right. Pretty big box, but it does have a lot of things in here. And um, if I do end up reselling this, actually, I bought it for the full price, I think it was $800. It's going for like twice that on eBay right now. So I don't really know yet, but let's go ahead and open it up. Nice. And then it's just a top lid. Boom. Nice foam padding in there. Really nice. So you get a nicely explained and laid out explanation of how to uh, start using it, like where to put your cameras and um, just that general thing. I guess I will be looking at this a little later. On the back you have a different language. And wow, wow. Look at these controllers. Now this is what really separates the HTC Vive from the Oculus Rift, these motion tracking wireless controllers. They allow you to like pick things up, throw things, you know, draw a bow, shoot a gun, that kind of stuff. Very excited to play with these. Got a bunch of buttons and I think there are vibration motors in here too. So like when you're pulling a bow, it's like you feel it. Um, I guess we'll experience that in more detail later. Underneath there you have some adapters, not sure if we need them. I'll take them out anyway. Over here you have your two cameras, which you set up on either corner of the room, that, and that provides the motion tracking, which from what I've seen is actually really, really solid motion tracking. This one's kind of stuck in here. All right, got those. And uh, I'm gonna be interested to see on, like how hard it is to set those up, if it needs to be perfect, or if it kind of figures it out on its own. Then there's a bunch of mounting stuff back here. These look like cables for power and probably power for the cameras. Really nicely laid out box actually. And then of course, we have the HTC Vive and a very long cable, wow. Look at this. That looks awesome. I'll put it on real quick. I'm really excited. I've got a big head, so this might not fit me right away. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. Okay. And I think that's it. You got, what is that? Power, USB, and HDMI. So that's the headset itself. And there is looks to be a box over here with an HDMI pass-through of some sort. Um, oh, this is where you plug the headset in and then I think it goes through to something else. And then some more like foam inserts in case that one gets sweaty probably will and uh, a couple more cables in here and that's about it so unboxing finished let's get on to setting this product up and experiencing virtual reality so we're on our way to get the new graphics card right now to be able to run the VR games at like full performance 
But one of the biggest reasons I'm excited for VR in general is that video games, at least recently, have not been as interesting to me. I've tried to play them. I just haven't been able to really get into them like I used to be able to do when I was younger. And like I can only play for like an hour or two at once max. Uh, so I'm really excited for this new format. Maybe it'll kind of reinvigorate that interest in video games and just really make it interesting and immersive again. All right, so I just removed the GTX 960 from the system and uh, we purchased a GTX 980 to go into the system. And I ran the VR test, the Steam VR test with the 960. It said it was VR capable, but not VR ready. And I want it to be VR ready and I want to be able to run it at the full 100 hertz, I believe it is, uh, to get that smooth motion when you're in the VR experience. So hopefully the 980 will do that for us. I also grabbed eight gigabytes of RAM from Byron's old PC to put in here. So there's 16 gigs, not eight gigs. So hopefully with the 8 gigs, the extra 8 gigs, and the 980, we'll be more than ready enough to run some VR games at the full 100 hertz. All right, so it's about six hours later. Everything is set up. Setup only took about an hour. Actually setting it up took like 20 minutes, then downloading the stuff took another like five minutes. And we actually had to troubleshoot a little bit to get everything working and connected, but it did all work uh, about an hour total. And then we've been playing with it for a while. And it's hands down the best gaming experience I've ever had. And I do wanna ask you guys, what do you wanna see content-wise around VR? Because I originally thought that I would do just one video on it, but it definitely deserves more than one video. So let me know what you guys wanna see, and I'm absolutely down for it. So in terms of setup, we have one camera up there tilted down a little bit, uh, that is one corner. And then in the other corner, we have the other camera, again, tilted down a little bit. Both of our are about seven feet in the air, tilted down, and they get a nice view of the entire room, which is the play area, a little rectangle. And I'm thinking of setting it up in the other room as well with a bigger area. This is what, like seven by four-ish or seven by five. Uh, I'd rather have like 10 by 10 or something. I wanted to see if it would make a difference, make a little bit bigger of an area. Uh, over here for the connectors, we have the little box coming from the headset, which is HDMI, USB, and power. And this goes into the computer, and uh, that's that. And then we have the headset itself, some headphones to go on. I do recommend open back headphones because that makes it more breathable and less hot because if you're in a not very cool room, you will get sweaty. I was dripping sweat at one point, not gonna lie. Then we have the two controllers here, and that's about the entire setup. So we're gonna go over a couple of games. One is gonna be a game called Hollow Point which is like a shooter with bow and arrows, really big fan of that game. And then the other is gonna be Tilt Brush by Google, which is like a 3D drawing game. And we were having a little bit of trouble recording the game like through OBS, which is open broadcaster software. So for now, I'm just gonna have a camera set up here recording the screen so you see what's going on. Hopefully if I do more videos in the future, I'll have more time to actually find out how to make it work. Cause when I would record the game on screen and uh, through OBS, it would really hurt the frame rate and it would be very unenjoyable through the headset. So for now, I'm just gonna record the screen with another camera and that will do fine for this video, but in the future, I'll try to figure that out. So without any further ado, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start with Tilt Brush by Google and uh, this is a good time to mention, we just tried to do this a couple times and it didn't work. We had to close stuff down, restart Steam, restart the program, and that will happen. It's still a very, like, very early in its life. VR is and you just got to fool around with it and if it's not working perfectly just restart things and eventually it will work and you'll be good and everything on the floor is on the floor right now because it, that is where it can be tracked by the cameras and it needs to be tracked in order to be able to launch uh, like if I had it right here it might not be able to be tracked perfectly so I'll go ahead and launch tilt brush in VR and then I'm gonna maximize it so this camera can see what's going on it is recording all right so that is on I'm gonna come down here and put on the headset and look around. Oh, hold trigger to paint. Whoa. <laughs> that is really cool. Can I do it with both? Swipe? Whoa. Point to interact. Whoa. Oh, wow, you get it. Okay, I see what's going on now. It's really just fun to just whirl around in 3D space. Now, what if I can make, like, all right, how about, let's go. All right. A little trigger, a little back thing, and then 
See, I, I saw something like this in Node when they did this. So I'm not, oh, they had an effect, didn't they? Did there are effects in here? Ink, stars, fire. I think fire is gonna be good here. Yeah. So you have that, go back here. Maybe blue bullets and, oh, that was blue fire. Get back to regular. We can get little bullets here. That could be a bullet. Direct copy off of what Node did, but when you see something this cool, you gotta do it for yourself. And then if I stand over here, it's like I'm being shot. All right, let's move on to Hollow Point, which is like a bone arrow archery game. Alright, if you weren't already convinced, VR is the future. And I'm so excited to play with this more and uh, just find new games. I only have like five games installed and I'm already loving them all. There are some games like Hollow Point where you're doing a lot of action and you get sweating and it's actually like a workout. And there are other games like drawing and a lot of mini games that are just more interesting. And really, when you put this headset on and you get your controllers and you see them in that reality, you forget where you actually are. And you take the headset off and it's like, whoa. I'm just in this room, not actually shooting arrows at holographic men and blocks. So all in all, this is an amazing product. Let me know what you guys want to see on this product because I thought I wasn't going to keep it for that long. I'm keeping this. This is amazing. Any video you want, I will make it. Can't wait to explore more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.